Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Trombone First Aid. Today I would like to talk about attacks and how to give them a very clean, definite beginning. I believe that seeing the waveform of our notes can show us where are eventual problems and what we could do to solve them. So I tend to use this software called Audacity, which is for free, but you can use also something in your phone or whatever you have that you can use to record yourself and see the waveform of your sound. What I'm looking for is to have a, a sound which is starting with a vertical line and ending with a V-shaped or U-shaped uh, ending, tail. Because this way it means that our beginning is very clear and definite with the best sound and the end is smooth and soft. This is really important for us to have a clean articulation and to give a more continuity to our melodic phrases. I'll give you two examples. So if we look at the graphic, we see clearly that in the first two, the beginning is more vertical and then ending with a V shape. In the other one, the beginning is softer, then there is something developing in the middle and then going back to the V shape. So our goal is to be closer to the first one, not to the second one. So everything will be more crystal clear and your articulation will result more definite without the need of adding too much tongue. I also recommend that you uh, reduce the gain of your microphone so that your maximum loudness is not achieved from the beginning. Otherwise, you cut a lot of this diagram and then you don't see exactly when you get to the maximum of your sound. So reduce a bit the gain of the microphone and try yourself. Use different articulation and see if what you want correspond to what you see in the diagram of the waveform. So for me this was kind of a revelation because this was really uh, telling me with no doubt when there was a problem, when there was something which was not really 100% uh, in, in control. Every note should be the same and if it doesn't look the same in this waveform diagram then it means that it doesn't even sound the same. It's true that sound uh, behaves in a different way than the microphone can capture. So this is not 100% connected to what the audience can uh, listen, can hear. But it gives us a good feedback to work on and to make our practice more focused on the direction we want to improve. Now I give you a more extreme case. Here, of course, it's even more evident because this is really something extreme. But this is just to fix the limits. Where is one extreme and where is the other one? So everything you, will, you want is in the middle. And anything resembling more to the second, it's not good. Everything resembling more to the first, it's better, it's preferable. You can do this game with anything you have to practice, from scales to, uh, I don't know, etude to concertos. And then you will see what your sound look like in this waveform. And then you will uh, kind of put a sign where your practice has to be more focused, maybe which passage is more difficult for you to keep the same articulation or to get this very sparkling attacko you really look for. I hope this was useful and if you like my video please put thumb up and subscribe my channel. Also look my other videos. Ciao!